If you're looking to buy any of the cards from either this video or any of our other previous videos, in the description below is our affiliate link to TCGplayer.com. TCG Player is a great place to buy any Magic Card singles as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon singles or pretty much any other card game you can find their stuff there. Use our affiliate code IBN, uh, that's IBN for Idiot Brewery Network over on TCG Player. It doesn't cost you anything and it supports the channel in the meantime. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to the Idiot Brewery Network. Uh, today we are going to be doing some more Vintage Cube. Uh, since the last uh, last video, I've managed to get four more trophies, so we're up to five. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. We got a week left of Vintage Cube. I'm gonna try to get some more, get a couple more videos out, maybe, maybe like one more. Um, yeah, let's just head right into it. Um, let me pull this over real quick. Just make sure that you guys can can see it. That's probably a it's probably a good thing. Been having a lot of fun. Uh, Vintage Cube, probably my my favorite Moto event. I did not mean to take Animate Dead, but I guess we took Animate Dead. Um. Well, we get Mox Opal, or Mox Pearl, I mean, not Opal. Um, yeah, taking Anime Dead was a mistake. I didn't get to see the rest of the pack, but it didn't look like we had any power, so it's not not that bad. I saw the Lee of Old, though, which is kind of sad, but it's not that huge. Not that big of a deal, Anime Dead. Very good card, anyways. Um, just try not to mess that up anymore. <laughs> Oops. Alright, let's see what we get here. Well, Ravenous Chupacabra goes well with Animate Dead. Uh, Bayou, also decently good with Animate Dead. Kinda just want to take the Bayou. Um, none of these other cards are very good. Rakdos' Return is fine. Uh, just gonna take Bayou, though. Vamp Tutor, pretty good with... Um, it's just a good card in general. Baleful Strix, also a very good card. Uh, Baleful Strix... Better in the sort of, like, recurring Nightmare style deck. But Vamp Tutor, just very good in, I guess, most decks. Gifts and Given is also an option. Um, I just think Vamp Tutor is better, though. So in this pack, we have Frantic Search, and we have Search for Ascanta. Uh, there's also a Hero's Downfall if we want some removal. I think I'd rather just go for one of these one of these dig spells though. Uh, that being said, we don't have any blue fixing yet, but we might be able to pick some up later on. I do like Search for Escanta more than Frantic Search. Um, Frantic Search is better if you have like high tide effects. Um, Search for Escanta is just a better value engine. It's also it's a good way to also get things in your graveyard. Obviously, not as great as Frantic Search, but it can go on for for multiple turns. Alright, um, this pack not looking so hot. Uh, Monastery Mentor is probably a good pick. It's a good pick. Uh, Kaito Freebooter is also a pick. Could also take Black Cleave Cliffs, um, which is probably what I'll be taking. Just because Red is also good in these Reanimator style decks when you get, like, Faith of Looting and if that Rakdos is Return Wheels. Uh, Inquisition of Kozilek, very good card. Um, Una's Prowler is good if we got the reanimator targets. We don't even know if we're going to be playing this animate dead yet. We probably will just for value, but we don't know how good it's going to be. Um, next best card is probably the Tide Olive Skuller, but it's probably in position here. Waiting for someone to pass their pack. Oh, 
Alright. Well, this pack isn't great. We pick up Bizarre of Baghdad. We still don't have a reanimator target for Animate Dead. But that's fine. We could also take Golos, which is fine. Or Wishclaw Talisman. I don't really like Wishclaw Talisman in non-combo style decks. We could also take Nature's Claim. That doesn't seem awful since we have Bayou. I think I'd rather just take Bizarre, though. Alright, well, we got some we got some blue sources. Um, I really don't know how good Vraska is in this, in this cube. I kind of just want to take Breeding Pool or Tundra. Uh, Tundra's kind of good because we have the Mox Pearl. Uh, so if we wanted to Splash White, we could very easily. Uh, Breeding Pool's also pretty good because we have the Bayou, which is what I think I'll be taking. Um, well, we could take the Nickel Bolas. Um, we'll have a decent time casting it. Obviously, our Mox doesn't really tap for it. Huh. Yeah, I'll probably just take Nickel Bolas. The rest of the pack doesn't seem great. Alright, so Rakdos' return did not wheel. So, we could take Vivian. Sweltering Suns seems fine. Relic isn't that great. Um, it's just not that good of a card. Probably just end up taking Sweltering Suns. Uh, we got Gifts Ungiven, which is fine card. It's better than um, it's better than Magus, I think. Uh, I kind of just want to take Thundermaw Hellkite because that's a card that, in the end, we could just cast. Um, this pick doesn't really matter. I'll just take tendrils and unexpectedly absent. I didn't actually expect to wheel. Ooh, this pack is really good. We'll probably just end up taking the Mox Sapphire. Uh, but, uh, Imperial Cruder's pretty good. Venter's pretty good. Um, Sundering Titan's very good. Uh, reanimate target. But we don't really have much of the other reanimate stuff, so I think we might just be some sort of, like, Grixis midrange style deck. And obviously, like, Mox Sapphire is pretty good. Hmm. So, this... This pack is interesting. We could take the Hydroid Crisis and sort of hedge into, like, four color control or mid-range. We could take Golgari Signet, because Signets are good, obviously, and it helps fix for, um... It helps fix our colors a bit if we do end up playing green. We could also take Necromancy and sort of still try and play for the reanimate, but we don't have a creature for it, obviously. And we could take this Dismember, because uh, we're kind of short. We don't really have much removal yet. Could also take Gruel Signet, because it Taps for Sweltering Suns and Thundermaw. Kind of leaning towards taking Gruel Signet. Just because Signets are are busted in, in this cube. So this pack is a little weird. Uh, it has Reanimate in it. Uh, and the Windswept Heath. With Windswept Heath you can grab Breeding Pool and Bayou. Uh, which is probably what I'll end up taking. And then hope that Guru, Nahiri, or Reanimate wheels. Nahiri, probably less so, so probably Garuker, Reanimate. Night's Whisper is also fine. Uh, or Trinket Mage. Uh, so there's a, there's a Trop in this pack. Uh, there's also Ashen Rider, which is probably what I'll be taking. Unless we can wheel it, we can probably... We might not be able to wheel it, actually. It's just, it's one of the, the not as great Reanimator targets. I kind of just want to make my mana a lot better. So we could take Trop or Volcanic Island. We already have a breeding pool, so Trop is probably less important. And Volcanic Island taps for two of Nicol Bolas' colors. There's also a Terminate and a Duress in this pack, but we're hoping that one of them wheels or the Corpse Dance. Ooh, this pack is... Very weird yet again. So we could 
Imperial Seal is fine, but we have Vamp Tutor, which is kind of just better. Course of Portal, Portal, very good card. Um, just being able to draw an extra card to turn is very good. Sun Titan, it's a fine reanimator target. I think we're just going to go for Course of Portal. Um, this pack is interesting. Uh, Dragon Lord Atarka, we can actually cast relatively easily. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse, we could probably take. Um, but not, I don't, I don't like it as much as taking Dreadler, Dragon Lord Atarka, uh, Erotic Registrar, Terastodon. Probably just end up gonna take Dragon Lord Atarka, cause it's fine to reanimate. And we can actually cast it. Alright. Uh, there's a sneak attack in this pack? Oh god, this pack is so good. So this pack is really good. I guess people don't know the value of Sheldock Isle. Um, Emrakul, obviously a very good card, just being able to cast it. It is a lot better on the cast than the reanimate, unlike the other Emrakul. I think we're just going to end up taking the sneak attack, though. And then hope to pick up some, some more threats along the way. Oh boy. I think we take Assassin's Trophy. We could take Through the Breach, obviously, but we already have sneak attack. And we don't have any removal. And Assassin's Trophy is just very good. Siege Gang isn't that great um, of a card or a reanimate target. Yeah, I'm just going to take Assassin's Trophy. Alright, so our Sundering Titan wield. As well as Imperial Recruiter. But this is not a great Imperial Recru Recruiter deck. Sundering Titan is very not great in a four color deck. But it's still... Pretty devastating, so I think that's what we're going to be taking. Um, so we got the Necromancy. But we know that there's a Reanimate in the next pack. So we might just want to take the Hydroid Crisis. Because if the Necromancy is wheeling, then probably the Reanimate is wheeling. And if not, there's a... Um, uh, there's another Reanimate spell in the next pack that's basically Necromancy. So I think we just take the Hydroid Crisis here. And yep, the Reanimate wield. Uh, Garruk did not wield, so that's fine. Uh, we got this Reanimate, though. Uh, Corpse Dance. Probably just take the Ashen Rider. We kind of want Reanimate targets now. Uh, Terminate is also a pick, but Ashen Rider is really good with, um, with Sneak Attack. Probably just take this, uh, this Yawgmoth. It's a fine card, but I don't know if we'll play it. Uh, Oath of Druids could be interesting. Yeah, definitely. We'll just take that. Uh, Yogg's Will, so nobody's playing... Nobody's really playing the Storm. I don't even know if... We're probably not going to play Yogg's Will. Oh, jeez. Uh, so we got Ancestral Recall, which is obviously what we're going to be taking. But if we look at the other cards in the pack... Okay, I'm glad we took the Ancestral Recall, but... <laughs> Oh god, that, that like stopped my heart for a second. But if we looked at the other cards in the pack, Thoughtseize is probably another really good pick, and Ancient Tomb is fine, but it's not great. Uh, Ancient Tomb obviously gets Signet out early. Huh. So this pack, um,. We can take another Signet, which taps for the other two colors. Or, no. It doesn't tap for black. I forgot that we took uh, the Gruul Signet instead of the um, the Golgari Signet. But it's still fine. We could also take Noble Hierarch. I don't really like Massacre Worm as much. And it might wheel even. I think we just take the, the Signet. Because Hierarch is worse if we want to play this Oath of Druids, too. Woodfall Primus is also a, uh, a thought. I think we just take Signet, though. Uh, so this pack... Huh. I kind of want to take the Ponder. Uh, over Prismatic Vista Spell Pierce. And maybe Enlightened Tutor. Although we have Vamp Tutor to find really anything. Hindutarok is also an option, but we don't, we don't have a way to reliably get double black on turn two. If one of these was a Mox Jet, then I'd probably be more inclined to take him. But I kind of just want to take this Ponder uh, to find more stuff. Spell Pierce is also an option. 
And yeah, Vista's pretty good as well, but I kind of just want to take this ponder. So we could take the BBE, BBE cycles into uh, Recall, Vamp Tutor, Ponder, Search, Signets, uh, Assassin's Trophy, Oath of Druids probably isn't a great hit. Could also take this Dark Ritual. Uh, we do not have an Entomb, and I doubt we're going to get one at this point. But it's fine to just go, like, turn to Yogmoth or something. But it's it's not... Or turn uh, three Nickel Bolas. It's still not that great, but I don't really think I want any of the other cards in this pack. Vivian Reed might be fine, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, Plat Wonder is fine, but it's not great. Uh, I'll probably end up just taking Vivian Reed here. Alright, so this pack... Huh. Narset looks really good here. Narset is obviously just a, a busted card, especially in this in this cube. And then if we pick up like a Dak Faden or something, it's really worth it. Uh, Ostone, also a really good card. His and Quagmire might wheel, which is kind of what I'm uh, hoping on. And then Damnation, also a very good card. Uh, just going to take Narset though. Alright, so this pack... I think we're just going to take Foff over things like Phyrexian Arena and, Sh or Phyrexian Arena and Shriekma. We don't have that much removal, which I think is fine. Because we have these uh, Planeswalkers that can act as removal. And Foff is just such a powerful card. And the Shriekma might, might even wheel, which I doubt it will. Um... Probably the Buried Alive will probably wheel. Vindicate is also a good card, but we don't really have the the white to support it. Oh, we got the Into. Uh, Toxic Deluge is also in this pack, though, which is pretty unfortunate for me. Elishnorn might wheel, which is kind of what we're hoping, but it probably won't. Uh, but I think we just have to take Into here. Yeah. So this pack, probably just take Unburial Rites, or we could take Season Pyramids, or actually, or Incubation Druid. Season Pyromancer is helpful in the later game. Uh, I was just thinking that Unburial Rites, along with Gifts Ungiven, you can just grab, but we're not really going to play white, so we probably just take Season Pyromancer, actually. Alright, so we're back to our first pack. I think we just take the looter. Looter's fine. I don't know if we'll play it if we have Oath of Druids. We don't have a way to turn on Oath of Druids at all. I don't think there really is one in this in this cube right now anyway. Uh, but we'll probably just take that and then replace that. So here's a fine Massacre Worm. Uh, we could also take the Languish. But we have Sweltering Suns with decent fixing, but our one up Heath can't grab Volk. There's also a Damnation in the next pack. And Massacre Worm kind of acts as as a sweeper. Alright, well we got the Shoulder back. Uh, which is pretty good. We got the Dark Ritual, which I think is what we're going to end up taking over Bone Shredder. Hmm. Actually, I think we just take Bone Trader. And then we take Damnation here. And Vindicate, I guess, is the one we're more likely to play. And Wildfire. Alright, uh, this deck ended up pretty decent. Actually. Um, we got two Moxins here to sort of power out our cards. And then we got a whole bunch of other things. Uh, so let's try and figure out what what we're trying to be and what cards we don't really want in the main board. So obviously I think I think we just keep in um, 
Sneak Attack is obviously staying in. This card is very good with all these cards. As well as the Animate Dead, Entomb, and Reanimate, and Vamp Tutor. Uh, these two cards are staying in no matter what, as well as, I think, Assassin's Trophy and Narset, and these cards, um, as well as these cards. So really, these are the only cards that we could think about cutting, and this is 2021. So we can add probably two or three cards from here, as well as probably um, just shaving a couple of cards over here. Like, Sundering Titan isn't great. Uh, and then that's probably all we want to cut. That's one, two, three, four hits. Yeah, that's probably good, actually. Uh, Sweltering Suns we can put into the sideboard. Bone Shredder we can probably put in the sideboard. Season of Pyromancer we can put in the sideboard. Crisis we can put in the sideboard. And then that's 16 lands. I think I do want 17. Uh, I think Vivian Reed's pretty good. And we have enough uh, green sources. Is there anything that's super hard to cast? Obviously we can't cast Ashen Rider. But I think Ashen Rider is just good. Like the way it is. We don't really have a good way to discard cards from our hand except for this looter. Hmm. Is that... Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess we have to do that. And then we can... I don't really want to cut Thundermaw. I think we cut a card from over here. Um, probably Damnation. And then we can we can sort by color or sort by convert a mana cost if we get these bad boys in here. And then we can count our colors real quick. All right, so we're not gonna be playing in planes. So for black, we need one, or we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cards we're casting, or nine black devotion we're casting. Uh, for blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then for red, we have one, two, three, four, five, we're counting sneak attack twice, which we probably should. And then green, we have one, two, three. All right. So, oh, crap. This bizarre, we have to count as a spell because it can't produce mana. Um, so bizarre is actually a way that we can that we can discard cards outside of uh, the looter. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, so what do we cut here then for this? We got the Coercive Portal? No. No, Portal stays in. What about Vivian Reed? Vivian Reed just seems so good. But it does make our mana a lot better if we don't play the double green spell. And then we can cast Nicol Bolas probably more... Um, probably better. Uh, so we're still not playing this. And now we're definitely not playing a Forest. So we have one, two... Three, three black sources. Um, and then red sources, we have one, two, three, four for counting the signets, which we probably should. Uh, and the, the fetch lane doesn't hit black. Or no, it hits black. It doesn't hit red. Which is a problem. Uh, so then that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 red if we're counting that. 3 basics, is, or 3 mountains is probably fine. 
And then blue we have uh, one, two, three, four, five sources. And then we need we need a decent amount of blue. And that's seven, ten, seventeen lands. Kinda like that. Uh, we're not gonna play a basic forest because we have windswept heath to grab. Or so we have one, two, three, four sources of green, and we're casting one green spell, probably. And then maybe Dragon Lord. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's uh, let's get into a game. I have a little, uh, a little cold right now, so I'm kind of congested, so. Uh, this hand's pretty fine. I mean, we can cast the Assassin Trophy if our opponent does anything, and we have the Core of Portal. It does seem a little slow, but if we get any sort of, like, discard... Yeah, let's just keep it. Hope our opponent is sort of on a more interactive deck, which... Black-green... could be. Sorry, Baghdad is kind of all we wanted. Should we just play this? Should we play Bayou? Oh, we can't play this Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> I'm just kind of stupid, aren't I? Uh, I guess we just play Bizarre and pass. Phantasmal image on nothing. That's an interesting line. Uh, I guess end of turn on Bazaar. Uh, discard. Discard, discard. Discard, Mesker Worm. Alright, I guess, I guess we should play around days. Cast this Ponder. Uh, got Shieldred. I think we're just going to shuffle this. It doesn't seem doesn't seem great. Uh, all right, that was a fine draw. And then end of turn again. We can activate Bazaar because we have we have a few lands in hand. And then if we hit like a Reanimate or something, that's that's pretty good. Charter course now. Uh, it seems like another or sort of like the mirror, like a Reanimator style deck. Discarding forest. Um, I guess we just play windswept heath. What can we get with heath again? Can't get by you. Can't give. It can't get Volk anyways. We can get forest, or no, we don't have a forest. We can get breeding pool. I think I just play basic, basic swamp, pass, and then probably into bazaar, depending on what's happening. If our opponent does nothing, sure. Is this like an upheaval? No. Huh. I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to kill the fast bond. Because that could be really bad for us if they go, like, upheaval into play their entire hand. Although that kind of incentivizes me to not use this bazaar. And then just go for Chorus of Portal. Now I'm going to use the one so Keith. Uh, we're gonna get some breeding pool action going on. Which I probably should have used last turn because we only had one hit left in our deck. 
But we do have this bazaar, so we could have just discarded it. And now we're kind of just digging to, um... Just trying to dig to a reanimation spell. Do mirror signet? Sure. Oh, I got something else to play. What is this? Three mana Narset? That's kind of that's kind of bad for us. We probably should have activated Bazaar in response. Because now, obviously, if we do, it's just kind of bad, but... Whatever. Um, I think we just go to our turn and draw. Do we vote for Carnage? We're going to lose out on a mana, but it destroys the Narset if they vote for it. And Homage isn't doing anything for us right now. Yeah. Well, this Thunder Maw Hellkite... It's definitely fine. Just gonna go ahead and pass. I'm not sure if I want to activate this, uh, this bazaar. Oh boy. Just because drawing one and then discarding down to one card just seems so bad. Although I do like the idea of Entombing. This is kind of where I wish I had a uh, white source. Um, the reanimation spell the flashback. But, you know, we're not going to worry about that. They have their own course of portal. Portal? Sure. Alright, so end of turn, we're going to Entomb. Uh, what are we Entombing for? We probably just Entomb Dragonlord. So that way, if we draw a... Or our own Narset? No. That doesn't work. Why did I think that would work? <laughs> yeah, nothing else really plays out of the bin. So we just get our own Dragon Lord, and then hope we we draw either a red source or a reanimation spell, which is a good chunk of our deck. Narset's actually pretty good here. Yeah, because now it stops their course of portal as well. I guess in hindsight I should have used... Oh, nice. And we got Animate Dead. So we can get our, uh, our Dragon Lord back. And then we can kill their Narset. Uh, very well. <laughs> and then we pass the turn. And now we can just vote for Homage. And they only get one draw. Which they are probably going to vote for Carnage, but it's not. We are voting for Homage. And they are Brainstorm Locked as well. So really the only problem here is if they can answer our Narset. I think answering Dragon Lord is fine. Yeah. Because then we still have... We have a lot more outs than they do. I think first thing we do is we down tick Narset. Uh, is it saying it's fine? I think I activate Bazaar here. Just because I have so much fluff in my hand that I can discard. Uh, sneak attack is pretty good. Not going to lie. So we're going to discard Swamp, Looter, Foth, Signet? I want to keep Signet. 
I think we discard Foff. Okay, so we go one, two, one, two, three. No, we need to keep the Swamp as well if we want to activate it. So we discard Thunder Maw. Or do we just play Thunder Maw this turn? So it's a one, two, three, four, five. Should we discard Ashen Rider? Yeah, I can see that. And then we can play Thunder Maw this turn. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yep, and I think just putting a four-turn clock on the table against a, an opponent that is brainstorm locked is uh, it's pretty good because they just use a damnation to get rid of a Tarka. So, and I think this the sneak attack does have we still have hits left in our deck. Um, I believe Beskarum is in our bin, Dragonlord, Tarka, Ashen Rider. So I think we just have Shieldred, which I guess isn't that great, but it's. Uh, I guess having a sneak attack in hand is better than having uh, any of these other cards, really. Maybe Foff, but we have 16 cards left in our library. And one of them being Ancestral. Okay, yeah, they're just scooping it up. Alright, so they are sort of... I want to say it's the Mirror... But we didn't really see much of what they were doing. I kind of want to bring in Bone Shredder. Um, Sam, what are you doing? Hey! Uh, my dog was just scratching himself. Uh, Vivian Reed is probably fine, actually. Definitely fine. Take out Massacre Worm. We can probably bring in Sundering Titan. Um, and then... What else are we taking out? Mm. Huh. What isn't that great here? I guess pon Ponder's fine. I think Inquisition is still good. Uh, we do have... Maybe the Bazaar? Because Bazaar is just abysmal with... um. With a uh, Narset on the table. Do we want this Bone Shredder though? Or maybe even Yawgmoth would be good. I can see Yawgmoth actually. We don't have much to sack though. Is the only problem with it. Maybe we just bring in this Bone Shredder. And then we side out. What do we side out? In tomb. Maybe a signet. We kind of want all these signets, though. I guess looter. Looter's pretty good, though. Maybe the Shieldred, because they're not really sacking creatures. So then we have three hits, but that's still probably fine. Because I think we want to be playing more of the more of the mid-range game. Oh, this hand is uh, <laughs> this hand is pretty gas. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so if we can find a black source uh, with this recall, uh, we can go turn one and tune. Uh, probably getting... Oh, never mind. We don't even... We don't even need the recall. Or we're, we're still going to play it, but we don't need the recall to entomb. Oh. Just gonna play out our uh, play out our lands here. What are they? A fast bond or two mana something? Demir signet, sure. Just 
going to Entomb here, getting Ashen Rider. Yeah. And then we will recall ourselves. That seems good. Animate dead the Ashen Rider, and then we'll just exile the Taiga. Sort of come off, cut them off mana, and then we can play this uh, this search for Escanta. All right, and then we pass, and then if they destroy the Ashen Rider, we get to exile another land or something. And we're really close to actually casting the Sunray Titan. No, oh, they just conceded. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a pretty good game. Is there anything else? Is there anything that we wanted to add? Do we want the Sunray Titan in the main board? I feel like Master Worm is more of a side in. No, it, it's it's fine. It's good. It's good. What was the card we cited? Oh, Bazaar? Do we want Bazaar? Since we're not, like, super dense on threats. Yeah, I'd say it's probably still good. Alright, let's play some more games. Going on to game two, we are 1-0 in the league so far. Ah! Yeah, since probably a keep. It isn't the the fastest, but we we have an ancestral. So if we draw a mox, this hand is nuts. And if we don't, this hand is like good. Yeah, seems fine. All right, black deck. This is Thoughtsies Inquisition. Yeah, that's fine. They just take a uh, recall here. <laughs> Obviously, recall being a really good hit for them. But uh, do we play out this breeding pool? I think we just play out this black cleave cliffs and then pass. Uh. Interesting to note, uh, Windswept Heath can no longer grab anything. Oh, and they have Thoughtseize? So now they take Animate Dead? Sure. Alright, so there's some sort of Mardu. Well, we got a, s a Mox. So we can cast an... No, because we played... I got him, stupid. I should have played a black source, that way next turn we could have played an Ickle Bolas if we drew it. But, I guess not. Dreddy? Dreddy's fine. Dreddy's not the greatest, but... Definitely not the worst, either. Uh, we got an Inquisition of our own. So let's see what our opponent's got going on. Uh, Fallen Shinobi. Okay. And we will just play a Swamp and Pass. And then next turn, if our uh, if our opponent ticks up on Doretti, we can uh, Massacre Worm them. Oh yeah, we're definitely casting this Massacre Worm. Oh, they uh, they destroyed the um. Sure. No, did they hit a land for, for Fallen Shinobi? No, did they? No, they did not. Uh, as it turns out. Uh, and now we are just going to cast this massacre. Mm -hmm. I hope it resolves. Yep, there we go. And that's pretty good for us. 
Uh, Massacre Worms, pretty good card. And we got the Ponder in hand in case uh, we, can, uh, we can start getting that going. Opponent has three cards in hand, none of them are lands. One of them is a Fallen Shinobi. Bizarre, not that great, so let's just Ponder first. Uh, Narset. We can... Yeah, I like this. Uh, we're not going to... Uh, we can't cast the Narset. Because if we... If we... Hmm... No, I'm gonna say no shuffle, and then we just we swing at Doretti. Yep. And then we probably just play this bizarre and pass. <laughs> Do they even have anything in the bin to copy? Goblin Welder? Trinket Mage, let's see what they find. See if they have uh, a Mox or something. Soul Ring, okay. Oh, I stacked those completely wrong. Um. Oh well, okay, let's play the Star Set. Uh, it's Down Tick, let's see what we find. Sess Trophy? Yeah, that seems pretty good. I think we should swing at the Doretti first, in case, uh, in case they decide not to block. Okay. Uh, and now we pass. And we can always, uh, Assassin's Trophy the, the Trinket Mage if it decides to attack. Yeah. Which I think is what we're going to end up doing. If it attacks Narset. Ooh, what do we do if it attacks Narset? Actually, I think I just wait till we, till they ninjutsu. Um, and then if they don't, we're fine. If they attack Narset, that's, that's good for us. Yeah. All right, let's see what we draw. Another island. All right, I think we're just on the race plan now. Yep, so they block. And that is fine. Ooh, what do they have here? Gush? Sure. Get to draw two cards for five mana? Yeah, that's that's fine. And now they're not having a land problem, so this Assassin's Trophy is... It's, uh, it's completely fine. They're attacking us. We say, okay. And if they ninjutsu it in, we can... Uh, uh, yep, the four blocks we are going to Assassin's Trophy that. Wait, how did we get Assassin's Trophy that? You know, if we get Force of Will, it's, it's really whatever. Okay, nope, we're good. Now they get to replay out Trinket Mage, uh, which I think was a favorable exchange for us, unless they have... No, I really can't think of anything that they would have that would be um, amazing here. 
Uh, Mox Ruby, okay. I think end of turn we're gonna activate this bazaar. One, two, three. And then we can vamp tutor. What are we getting? Probably just something to kill this. And then. Uh, do we have enough mana for a Tarka? One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're one off. Oh, can we just get Hellkite? No. I guess I should have uh, looked at the deck list a little bit, but uh, one, two, three. Can't even grab Nickel Ball last year. Oh, I definitely should have looked at. Or no, I can. Yep, let's just grab Nickel Ball last, and then win. And this plays around days too. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. So they let's see what did they play? They had Fallen Shinobi. They had some other stuff. I kind of want to bring in this Damnation. Uh, I think we bring in Sundering Titan again. Uh, Massacre Worm played a pretty good role there. Uh, Dragonlord Tarka seems good. All these hits seem really good. Debating if I want Damnation or not. Seems fine, but not the best. And then again, all these seem pretty good, actually. Probably just end up having to cut the Bazaar again. Uh, and I think we'll probably, we probably just want this Vivian read. And then we might actually have to cut a, uh, a payoff here, because Thunder Maw is just, you know, nuts. We could also cut this Vamp Tutor, but I think Vamp Tutor is just really good in finding a payoff or a, uh, or a way to get, um, it owns the battlefield. Probably just end up cutting this Ashen Rider. Or Shieldred. Because you don't have a dense amount of creature threats. So that's probably how we're going to do it. Could also get Oath of Druids, but it, I don't know how much I like it here. Alright, this, uh, this hand's pretty fine. Uh, it's not the best hand I've ever seen, but it's not, it's obviously not the worst. And then if they go like turn one, no Inquisition. Sorry, alright. No Signet on their part either. Pamp Tutor? Sure, we can just go, just go land pass and end of their turn we can recall ourselves. Oh god. I think we just let it resolve. No, I think we have to recall ourselves. Cause yeah, okay, yeah, that was that was good. Cause now they have they have Vamp Tutor, Search, Inquisition, Gruel Signet, and they have to pick. Which I'm assuming they'll go for Inquisition, depending on what their hand is. If they don't take Inquisition, I don't think we Inquisition. Ooh, they take Vamp Tutor. Okay, uh, Trinket Mage. Probably gonna get the Mox. Yep. Play the Mox. I got anything else? No. Alright, I think we just go Swamp Signet. And then next turn we can go uh, Inquisition Sneak Attack. No, we can only do one or the other. Or we can go Inquisition, Signet, Search, right? No, I don't think we can. Yeah, we can. 
Maybe. Maybe I just can't do math, and then we'll see. Time Twister? I think that's actually fine. Oh yeah, this sounds pretty good. Dirty? Sure. What, are they gonna destroy our, um, destroy our signet? That would be a hindrance, but it wouldn't be, uh, awful. But then they'd have to, they'd go down on mana, too. Sure, what are you sacking? Sure. That's actually, like, completely fine for us. So now we can either go Foth, which I think I like more than, um, than Chorus of Portal. Just gonna fetch now to make sure that we can get, uh, probably just get the Bayou. Uh, and then go Mox. And then we will pass the turn. I will be taking two. Sphinx. Sure. End step, we will fuff. All right, then some hits. All right, I think we just take this pile then if it's if it's between these two. If that's how they're leaving it. So um to put into your hand this one. Yeah, you can draw two cards. So now we can also Entomb uh, to get a Tarka, which I think is what I like. Or Asher Rider. Massacre Worm is also an option, but I don't think it's the best right now. I think that's just like getting a Tarka and then ping, ping, ping. Yeah. And they have a Sphinx, but then we have an 8-8 with flying. And then next turn we can go Nickel Bolas kill the Sphinx. I mean, they draw four cards off of it, but... We could also go Ashen Rider, exile the Sphinx. But then they can go Dreddy down tick kill the ashen rider but then we get to exile the ready actually i think that's good because then they can't really kill it and then we can swing at it yeah oh fuck i didn't mean to do that no oh. i didn't mean to do that Oh no. This is just so much worse for me. Oh no. Oh. I just made so many mistakes over the course of this draft. And if that costs us the game, well... So be it. That's fine. Sure. And they have a the Shinobi? Yeah, sure. Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. And they get to cast both the cards? What are the cards? Oh. 
Oh my god, that was just... Oh boy. Now we're just almost assuredly out of this game. Because I did that. Yeah, Sundering Titan, we're just dead. No, we have to exile Massacre Worm. That was a that was a big pun. We fall to two here, but we get to kill Consecrated Sphinx as well. And they have nine cards in hand. Yeah, I think we're just, uh... Oh god, this is bad for us. Yeah. I think that one's just game. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a that was a big pun, big pun on our part. Do we want this oath of druids? We don't have that many early creatures, but if they get to ready down, this is pretty good. No, I think we just uh, we just set in. We're just good. Do we want another green source? Like, can we switch out a mountain for a, uh... Yeah, I can see that for a basic... Basic forest. So now we can actually cast Vivian Reed. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Well, we got Vamp Tutor Reanimate. Oh, this is just not good. Well, this hand isn't great either, but I guess we're keeping. Uh, bottom, probably. Dragon Lord Atarka. We might just be vamp tutoring for uh for looter. Or recall? Probably recall actually. And then what do you take your opponent? I think he just has to take Nicol Bolas, because then if I, yeah, because then if I did tuck a, um, a reanimation spell, then that's, like, just awful for him. Opium answer, sure. Next turn we can cast a uh, Thunder Maha okay. Yeah, no blocks. 
Oh, they have a fucking Shinobi. Oh my god. Oh boy. Ass Blast? I honestly don't know if they cast it here. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a black source. Oh no, I needed to get a red source. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, I just lost because I just, um, I just punted again. I don't know why I thought I had another, another black source. But now I'm... Oh, sneak attack and reanimate? Yeah, sure. Oh. oh, this is just Wheel of Fortune. Sure. Well, this is probably the worst hand uh, could have could have gotten. They're reanimating my uh, my Titan. Sure, and they just get to blow up four of my lands. Yeah, sure. Whatever, I'm done with this game. I'm just dead. Yeah, that was, uh... Very poorly played out by me. Uh, very tired right now. <laughs> uh, well, let's see if we can go, uh, go 2-1. Deck seems really good, but... Just can't, uh, just can't get my head in it for some reason. <laughs> Yes, so I'd like to be in the play. Sand is fine, it doesn't have anything fast, but it's a it's a fine fair hand. Go turn one swamp, turn two islands signet, turn three Narset. Or no, we have to yeah, we can play the Volk. Never mind. Alright, we're good. We're good. I'm not gonna punt with my mana base again. Bazaars, not great here. I actually think we don't have a great bizarre deck. I mean, it's fine, but it's not, uh, it's not the best bizarre deck I've seen. Porcelain Legionnaire. That's certainly a card. Do we even play Narset now? I don't think we do. I think we just play Vulcan Pass. Yeah, I think we just take it here. It only deals damage to the creature that's flying, right? Tap those creatures, yeah. Very strange start, start from our opponent. Do we Assassin's Trophy the Porcelain Legionnaire? Kind of think we do. It's our only removal, but... I don't think we're going to be needing a whole lot of removal in this matchup, considering that we have, like, um, the Massacre Worm. Oh, they get another island. Oh, do they have, like, Cryptic Command or something? Sure, I mean, maybe we should play around days. I mean, Cryptic, cryptic in Narset isn't that bad for us. Sure. That just seems very weird for them to have, like, Porcelain Legionnaire and Cryptic Command. Like, I don't know. That's just a very weird, like, assortment of cards. Caracas. Alright. When we're drawing Ashen Rider. Sure, you're not gonna be, uh, you're not gonna be thrilled with what you see, but, yeah, sure. Sure. 
So they kind of have to take Thunderball here. Um, or they could, like, bounce click back to their hand, or not. Gonna draw two, discard, discard, discard. We are going to play out a sneak attack. And then we are going to pass the turn. And then they could uh, they could start looping clicks. Uh, but then if we hit a creature we want, we can uh, sneak attack it in. Yeah, guy's fine. In tune. I think we just pass. Just say go here. I mean, we are going to get... Um, Going to take a lot of damage. Cycle miscal, sure. We are going to take a lot of damage. We're taking six, seven, eight, nine, so we're going to five. So we need to find an answer next turn. Uh, and then they'll be able to click us, but that's not that big of a deal, like I said. Actually, do we need to in to? I think we're fine if we don't, because we only have one black source. So if we don't entomb for massacre worm, and instead try to draw naturally, uh, we're hitting to. I think that's a lot more outs. Yeah. That is bad for us. I mean, it's fine for us. I mean, it doesn't really change much of what we can or are going to do. Discard, discard, discard. So we need to keep a red and a blue open. Yeah, nothing in our grave that does it. Mm, actually, we could get back. No, we don't have the, the black. So we're just going to have to shuffle and then hopefully get a Massacre Worm. Huh. That's not a Massacre Worm. Alright. Game two. Uh, I think we bring in Bone Shredder. Seems fine in this matchup. And probably Oath of Druids. And then take out Looter. Um, probably bring in Sundering Titan. Bring out Looter, Bazaar again. And one more. Um, I think if we're bringing in Oath, we kind of want the higher density of threats. Maybe we bring out one of these draw cards. Or a red card. Maybe this Entomb. It's just not great. But then if we round Entomb, we don't really have a way to discard cards. Maybe the Search Fest Canton isn't great, but it seems pretty good to me. Maybe one of these signets. Or a chorus of portal or Narset. Narset actually doesn't seem great here. And I kinda want to cut an island for for a forest. Yeah, there we go. Uh 
Uh, this hand will be... F yeah, this hand's probably fine. It's not the best hand, but I've kept kept worse. Oh, Brady Pool tapped. No. This deck would be pretty fun if it had like a, a run and six, or just like a good turn, turn two play or something. Let's go sing it. Pass. Land. Bayou, Bayou's pretty good. Then we can go Signet, Pass. Just kind of want to bait him out with Entomb here. Alright, they, uh, they, say, they say it's true, that's fine. Uh, Starting Titan is definitely the way to punish them the most here, but I think that also punishes us a lot. So I think I just want to get Ashen Rider. Or Shieldred. I'll just get Ashen Rider. Then we can untap. Draw. Hmm. Uh, I think we just cast. Just cast our uh, thermal. Mm. Oh, it's good. All right. Let's see if uh, if we get path would be a lot better than swords. Now we good. This is a click. Repeal. Sure. That's actually not that great for them. Of course, it's not great for us, but it's not like the end of the world. They okay, put planes. And cast a face fetters. Sure. Uh, let's just Inquisition, see what they have going on. Miscalc, O Ring. I think we just take Miscalc and then cast Sneak Attack. Or take a O Ring. Because if they play Angel Invention, we just get. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. So they make some creatures. Mm. Yes. Mm. All right. So now we can go oath. And then we can go into signet and then we pass. So they have Miscalc, Caracas, something else in hand. <laughs> Cycle Miscalc, sure. Trying to find a way out of this, uh, 
this Oath. Because we have the double whammy of Oath, uh, Oath Sneak Attack, so... Yeah. Alright, we got an Oath Trigger. All the rest of their graveyard, sure. Well, that... Mmm, that's pretty good for us. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We did, uh... We did mill the... The recall. But I think... I think that's fine for us. Yeah, <laughs> they also get to use out the druids now. Which I actually think Massacre Worm was probably the, the worst hit for us, but... But that's fine. What went in the graveyard? Island Island? Sure. We know that they have a Crocus in hand. I guess they have a colonnade now, too. A vamp tutor? Sure. Sure. Now we can just get, um, what do we want here? Probably just get Dragonlord Atarka. Kind of just want to keep it till their turn and then just kill both their creatures. Yeah. If they play the creatures, that is. Or if they uh, animate the, the colonnade and then, um... Uh, nope, he's just, uh, he's just going to attacks. Sure. That's fine. This card has a, has a very good artwork. A lot of cards have have very good artwork. Uh, yeah, I think we just uh, we just keep the Dragon Lord in hand. Well, I made Dead's very good. Mm. Yeah, I think we just go for the Anime Dead. All right, and there we go. I think we exile Oath, actually. And then we can we can pass the turn. I think we kinda just want to use this Dragon Lord Atarka as like a removal spell. So if they go to animate Celestial Colonnade, we can we can flash in and we sneak attack and then uh, kill Colonnade and Legionnaire. But we didn't really want Oath there because they were just going to get more value from us. Like, if we had the Ashbrander, they would have been able to get a creature off of the Oath. Because of that Fates Fetter, which is actually uh, pretty good. Which we could have also probably just exiled the Fates Fetters. Which probably would have been a better line in hindsight. But taking this line is like preparing for a longer game rather than uh, trying to beat face, which beating face probably seems better here. Now that I think about it. 
Just because how are they supposed to deal with uh, with all this unless they have, like, exactly Wrath of God and then kill us with Colonnade? Well, no, because then we'll be able to exile it with Ashen Rider. Actually, yeah, exiling Faith Fetters is probably better. Unless they have, like, some dummy creature in their deck that, um, that they could have oathed for. Like, an Elishnorn there would have been just devastating. An Elishnorn here still would be devastating, but it's not as, I guess. Because then we could kill our own, uh, or is it your opponent's mm -hmm. control? So we can't just kill our own Ashen Rider to, to murder the, the Elishnorn. Alright, waiting on our opponent to make a move. Uh, we don't, they don't have Crocus in hand anymore. Actually, us gaining 6 life from this Condemn really, uh, it actually helped us a lot. Fractured Identity? That's kind of bad for us, isn't it? Sure. I think we flash in the Yatarka to kill the the Ashen Rider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can just cast Yatarka. But that doesn't matter, they're just gonna exile it anyway. And they're going they're going to be able to um you're going to be able to get two, two triggers off this Ashen Rider anyway, so it's better that they do it now rather than later. So they probably just exile the the Atarka unless they want to go for the, the Greed play. Uh, what CMC is? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, because now they knock us down to four, and then... Well, Thalia doesn't really matter here. But they knock us down to four, and then next turn it's a, it's a hard road to climb. Yeah, so now we're just dead. Alright, well, GG's opponent. Uh, that was a pretty that was a pretty bad league. Um, we just kind of got unlucky. Uh, for a lot of it, I thought our deck was pretty good. It's just, um, I don't know. We just sort of got unlucky for most of the part of it. And then, um, just our opponents just had everything that they needed to just make it to our game plan. Uh, anyway, that's been a cube. Uh, thank you for watching the idiot brewery, uh, network. Uh, make sure to use code IBN and check out at TCG Player uh, to support us, to support what we do, uh, and it doesn't cost you a single dime. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Professionals, don't worry about it.